he's in the greenhouse. What are you doing over here? Here LP went to try to move it and he noticed it was a little frog pretending he's not there. Oh, you are so sweet. I'm, he putting even... these, I'm putting these panels up. Right here's the drill I'm using. And right there next to I set the drill down. And I thought, well, I'll move this out of the way here. I'm putting these panels up to get ready for winter. And here he was going to move the little frog thinking it was just a gob or something. Do you see what I got? Um, see, I, I, I should have got more cream tongs and I didn't. Oh, what do I got for that baby? What do I got? Did you see him? Did you get it? Yes, I did. He was well, quick. Boy, he was quick on that. He was hungry. Did you like that, Punky? Did you want another one? Did you want one more? Hmm? You don't want any more, do you? Oh, you know. Today is day three that the little frog has been in the greenhouse, and, and LP, he rigged up this uh, setup for the little frog, <clears throat> and I brought in uh, some of the water hyacinths, and we bring them in each year, and we just cut the dead part off of them, and um, you can take and cut part of the root off because the root is really long, but I thought in this case with the little frog, uh, I would leave the long rooting system, and that way when he, if he gets in this water, then he can climb up that root system and there's little snails uh, on that's attached to the root system. So I don't know whether he's going to use this or not, but we have a water feature for him if, if he does want to use it. And LP ended up, instead of having this um, spat, uh, spitting the water out real forceful, uh, we have a little fountain type uh, on there now but we haven't seen him use it, and we didn't see him yesterday. So we saw him five days, and he didn't come out yesterday, even though it was plenty warm in the greenhouse. So we hope he's okay. So we'll keep looking for him and hope that he'll come out. He can get out if he wants to. Both doors um, are open, uh, so he can just go out from underneath the screen or well, the LP screen. found the little frog this morning. So this is going into day four, I think. And he looks different every day. It's just weird. I don't know whether he can change his markings or what, but they just look different. They look different each day. He was in hiding this morning and I didn't think we would ever see him again in here because it would, it's just a jungle in here. And he's got so many places to go and explore. But he would pick a con a uh, cardboard box. <laughs> I don't get it. He could climb up this trellis and get bugs that's on the Matador finish. But, you know. Yeah, that was yesterday. Yep. I don't think he's ventured over into the new fountain area and uh, his little hangout area. Mm -hmm. He obviously knows about it. He should be able to hear it. I'm not sure if I need something more in there where he can sit on top of the surface of the water. Seems like he could sit on top of the surface of the water just on these um, water pipes. He's 
back out again. What are you doing, sweetheart? What are you doing? You are so cute. He's all the way up on the top shelf of this. Oh, you're such a sweet baby. He's ready. He's feeling the air coming in. And he's kind of like semi-snoozing, aren't you? Are you semi-snoozing? Oh, you're so sweet. How can you turn black? He's turning the color of that. Uh... He's a chameleon frog. Yeah, but he didn't turn black today. He was sitting in the same spot.